Okay, now that we have the, the Git installed on our Windows, uh, um, if you don't like the command line and you want to do things through on, on uh, File Explorer, you have the option of installing uh, uh, what we call um, Tortoise Git. Tortoise Git is essentially a Windows shell interface for Git. It just m makes things uh, a little easier. So, so uh, I'm going to type over here, download again my friend Google is gonna help us download uh, tortoise git <coughs> and click over here the first option that comes up uh, again depending on what is the operating system that you have um, as what type of the operates in 32 or 64 if you don't know what it is click on file explorer right click on this PC click on properties and over here it tells you what is the operating system that you have 64 or 32 now these days rarely I see a 32 one so click on 64 bit it downloads it as soon as the downloads complete click and execute it so it runs all right now that it runs you can click on next do everything as default you do not need to do anything uh, any selection of any kind just click on next next and install click on yes it probably is going to ask you to reboot um, run first start wizard um, you can run first start wizard and when you have uh, every single thing that you do in git when when you are actually uh, uh, pushing stuff back to a repository this is not our case for um, IPC and OP244 students it's a good thing to do it and learn how to work with git but if you don't do it, it doesn't matter so if I say run first wizard over here I'm gonna say finish over here the first wizard comes up it's gonna ask you what the language if it's English go English next next again you don't need to change anything over here just next okay in here put your name and the email address uh, with which you have account on github so it's um, if you are dealing with github so I'm gonna put over here for that Sully and put my email address at SenecaCollege.ca And click on next you do not need to set anything just click on finish and it is done now let's close it I don't know if it actually usually it asks for a reboot and didn't so um, how uh, now I want to show you how to get do the git pull and git uh, 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 git clone and git pull using uh, tortoise git um, a command line I showed it to you in a previous um, video this one is going to be using GUI so uh, first I'm going to open up uh, um, the repository that we have so I'm going to go github github that's perfect so let's go to um, the notes for example uh, uh, Seneca um, IPC 144 uh, select the repository that you want go download or clone copy the URL with HTTPS now go to wherever you want to download it say I want to go to documents IPC 144 I want to put it in here I right click over here I'll go git clone you see this now it's added to your file explorer so you don't have to issue uh, a, a command line if you don't like it so I click on git clone because I already copied it automatically it pastes it in here so uh, when you copy a URL automatically paste is over there and just simply click on OK and there you go it's now right here anything that I have over here is an exact match to what I have right in here alright now the next thing that you need to do if your prof changes anything in a repository a new assignment is posted or anything like that you don't need to download the whole thing again just go on the repository click on a repository right click on it then go tortoise git and go pull when you say pull it means you only want the changes 
So you click on pull and click on OK. Of course, it's going to say up to date. It's already up to date because I didn't change anything in that repository. If it was changed, it would have applied the changes to the repository that you have. This is how to install Tortoise Git for Windows 10. Have a beautiful day.